guys, what's up, it's Buzz here. Um, today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to do the glow effect. I used it in my most recent edit actually. Um, I shall show you now. Um, if you haven't checked it out, please drop me a like and a comment. Appreciate it. Um, here, this glow effect on the gun. I'll be creating that today. It's very simple, easy effect, doesn't take much time. Um, the plugins that you'll need for this is um, Twixter and you'll probably need the uh, Shine Shine plugin as well. Um, anyway, let's jump right into this. Uh, so basically, you get your clip, and you want to bring it to a comp, um, and you want to find a point in the clip where it's basically enough for you to slow it down and get a nice like a uh, kind of view on the gun so the guns are going to be right in front of you or it's in a stationary position whereas if you're going to do it where the scopes in the middle of the screen it's going to be very hard and it'll use a lot of um, adjustment with the mask um, of an adjustment layer um, so what you want to do is you want to get some twixter on this so stick some on there uh, just slow it down a bit uh, maybe I'll move it forward to a point where he's actually got the gun. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, right. And then from there, just decrease the twister, make it about five. So it goes into slow mode. So basically what you want to do is you want to uh, make an adjustment layer, just control out on Y, and, and then you want to get the pen tool. So let's get to where we want to go first. Right, you get the pen tool, and basically all you want to do is you want to just mask yourself around the gun. It doesn't have to be precise because you've got the feather tool, uh, which is pretty handy. Um, yeah, so I'm just doing it rough, I'm not going to you're doing it mentally precise uh, for this tutorial and then you want to press M and then click mask path and then all you're going to do is you're going to scrub across and just move it to the movement of the clip uh, don't have to do that much because it's twixted so just a little bit just to make it look realistic um, and then from here you can just delete the um, the adjustment layer on the start and probably do the same towards the end just enough for you to fade it out with opacity so what you want to do from here is you want to add some shine just drop that on the adjustment layer and you want to change the transfer mode to add that will give you a nice sort of ray on it try and find a a good point on the on the um, on the gun where it looks like it's um, quite bright across it. And it's quite nice. So uh, yeah, that's quite nice there. Um, right, and then what you do from here is you can add a bit of um, of FL glow. That will give it more vibrance. Probably add some curves as well. Just boost these up. Yeah. And all you have to do from here is press F onto the mask, and you just drag the pixels up. Now, pretty simple. You can add a lot of effects to this. So as you can see, you can probably uh, opacity fade it in. So if I put it here at zero, put it about here at a hundred, and then back down to zero here. Just get it going for a while first. And 
and there you go. So it comes in, the gun starts to glow, and there you go straight into the clip. So it's pretty simple, very quick tutorial, nothing major. Um, what I can recommend is just doing little tweaks. If you have the time to make it precise, then do make it precise because it's always nice when it's tied to the, to the gun. Um, mess around with your settings. Obviously, you've got the colorized setting here on Shine, which is brilliant because you can change it to whatever color you want. I normally use these presets here. So you've got chemistry, makes it green. You've got Mars, makes it kind of orangey looking. And there's loads, like whatever the type of edit you're doing, you can always kind of um, blend it in with the color correction. And um, yeah, as I say, it's a brilliant effect and it's fairly simple. Anyway. Uh, it's been Buzz guys and peace out.